Hey there, fellow white shavers, Brian here with the White Shaver Experience. Thank you for tuning in today's video. I'm back from my trip and I have not shaved since Wednesday of last week. Today is Tuesday, so six days. Um, got a lot of growth. I got back from my trip late, late, late Sunday night and um, I got up too late yesterday morning to uh, really try to get a shave in. And so here we are today, still running late. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Uh, but I really needed to get a shave in. So in today's shave, I just am using a sample of Zingari Man's. This is the Vegan Coconut Nanas. Um, had that for a while, just haven't used it. I'm gonna match it with Zingari's Gypsy, uh, which is, has some similar scent notes. I'm gonna use my Gillette uh, Fat Boy, and um, I'm gonna use it on a four setting. It's got a Gillette NASA blade in it. We have my Smiles for Miles synthetic brush. Uh, there and we are all lathered up in the Lancaster bowl. So we wet the face and we'll get started. And I have a towel. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Thank you. And uh, those of you that are new subscribers, much appreciated. And uh, some of you, I think, I got some folks that's um, subscribed after watching my recent barbershop and I realized uh, in my barbershop by the way that I neglected to um, throw my barbus in there in that ranking and um, <clears throat> I'd have to say so that would be 12 actually I have to say that that falls somewhere in the middle probably around six or seven uh, really enjoyable scent on the cleaner side um, but that's probably where it would fall Thought I would throw that out there. But anyways, um, <clears throat> if you're watching for the first time, please consider subscribing below. If you like the video at all, hit that like button. And those of you who have been subscribers for a long time or at the beginning, thank you for your continued support. So now that we got the public service announcement out of the way, let's get to the shave. All right, uh, I don't know how well this is gonna go. I haven't gone quite this long without shaving, like six days in a while. Typically when the hair's a little bit longer, sometimes it gets a little uh, tuggy. And uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna rinse the razor more often here because I'm sure it's gonna get a lot of hair in it. And it's actually not going too bad. I actually looked, this is a NASA blade in here on the fourth use actually. <laughs> so I'm braving it today, folks. I usually use a blade about four or five times, so. Uh, I did not even put a new fresh blade in and um, getting a little tuggy as the hair gets a little thicker in the goatee area. We are on, I think if I didn't mention it, the four setting. Uh, this is really slick uh, soap though. Um, it'll be interesting to see in the second and third pass how slick it is. So this is Coconut Nanas. This was a summer release from Zingari Man. So let's talk about the soap first. And um, this has been out for quite some time. I did look on Zingari's site. This was only available through uh, Zingari. This was a collaboration with, I think it's Rirana, um, perfumes out of, I believe, Malaysia, if I'm not mistaken. And um, so this was only available directly through Zingari's site. The soap is still available, actually. Um, and I've heard a lot of really, really good things about the vegan base. And this was the updated or most recent vegan base on this soap. Um, and um, so this is, um, unlike some may think, based on the name, it does not have banana in it. Nana's in, again, I think it's Malaysian. If it's not, I apologize, um, is pineapple. So the scent notes on this are coconut, pineapple, peach, tiari, frangipani, musk, and saffron. I have a little tuggy right around my lip area there. My beard growth is definitely thicker. Ouch. And more coarse in this area of my face. And of course, I think that lip area is sensitive. But once we get this layer off, we should be good to go. 
So the scent is really nice. I like it. Um, I'm pairing it with this uh, Gypsy, which is citrus, cucumber, and pineapple. So they both share the pineapple note. Um, I think the Gypsy is a lot brighter scent um, and fruitier than this. Uh, with the coconut and Anna's, I get definitely more of the coconut than I do with the pineapple. So I think the Gypsy is definitely more pineapple forward. I probably should have put a new blade in, but we will power through. I'm not gonna change it out at this point. Definitely plenty of hair in the sink there. I was gonna shave yesterday morning, but I didn't have time to do a video, which is fine. But then we had to get the kids lunches together. And so I went to the, um, well, let's finish about the scent first. <laughs> um, so this is a nice scent to me. Um, Definitely different than the Gypsy. So if you had the Gypsy um, and you were wondering if they were similar, they are similar somewhat, but I would say the Gypsy is a lot more fruitier, um, even though it has cucumber, because I don't really get the cucumber as much. I get um, just a lot, of the, a lot of the citrus and pineapple, and there's no citrus in this one. Um, so you don't get that citrus pineapple punch. Um, I get mostly the coconut. In this one, this one to me has more of that summer, almost, and I don't mean this in a negative way, but uh, kind of suntan lotion vibe-ish um, is kind of what I'm getting out of it. Not overly um, coconutty, but there we go. My sprayer, this uh, just has water in it. Those of you that are new to the channel, I do try to link the products I use in the descriptions. Uh, if I do get something for free or somebody loans me something or anything like that, I will fully disclose that in my video. Um, other than that, my channel is funded by me, myself, and I. So we have a good time shaving every time. I had a sample. I didn't want to use, I, I might have uh, not used enough soap in the bowl. Still got, uh, I definitely got enough for the next pass, but not sure I put enough soap in there, but to get a really thick lather, but it's enough to get the shave, I think. All right, so, um, the Gillette Fat Boy, Vintage Fat Boy, uh, it's definitely a great razor to me, in my opinion. I really, really love this razor. It's so easy to use. I mean, and wow, this is super, super slick. So, I mean, look at, I'm just probably over exaggerating at this point, but I mean, I can just go, I'm gonna ride the cap here, so I'm not, but I can just go over and over and over this area. The residual slickness is incredible. So I don't know if I put more soap in, I might just buy this soap just to have the soap. I'm typically matchy matchy. Those of you that watch the channel and know, I like to match the soap with the aftershave product. But wow, what residual slickness, honestly. Very, very impressed. So I don't know if I put a little bit more soap into the bowl, if I would have got uh, like a thicker, more and more volume. So I got the hairs I missed in there. Got my hair cut yesterday and actually I just realized I didn't even put any product in it yet today. This is what it looks like dried a la natural. But Anyway, so I'm back from my trip. I actually flew out of Eugene on Wednesday afternoon. And um, I went, flew down to the LA area into the Ontario airport actually. And went to the Colorado River with some buddies of mine to do our annual fantasy football draft. So we didn't have a trip last year um, for obvious reasons. And the year before, I didn't go to the actual river because I had a work convention that 
was that week and I could not miss. And so, um, so this is the first time in three years I've seen some of my buddies. Other than during the pandemic, we did some Zoom stuff, but they all live in the LA area, uh, which is where I'm originally, <clears throat> originally from. I'm the only one that moved out of state, moved out of the area. But there's, it's a small league. We only have eight teams. One of my friends didn't make it, so there were seven of us. Uh, I have a buddy that has, <clears throat> him and his family have a place on the Colorado River in Parker on the California side. And they have a boat. And it was 115 degrees, so it was scorching hot. Um, so we kind of hung out on the shore a little bit and mostly in the water. Played a little ladder ball. Got out of the boat. This old man tried a little wakeboarding. It's been years since I've actually wakeboarded and uh, I was unsuccessful this trip. Got a little frustrated and just gave up, to be honest with you. And, uh, but I had the sore forearms and uh, back <laughs> the next day to prove I tried. So, but it was good to see my buddies. Everybody's doing well, so that was good. And I flew back Sunday night, but my flight didn't leave Ontario till 7.30, so, and I had to fly. There's no straight flights into Eugene, really, from anywhere. <laughs> so I had to fly to Seattle and down, and then Seattle, up to Seattle and down on the way back. I got home about the little after 12, 12.15, 12.30, Sunday night, so I was exhausted yesterday morning. And I figured, you know what, I'm walking around the office with a mask most of the day, so if I didn't shave, who cares? This is still so smooth on setting four. So glad I picked this up. I actually picked this up from Neil from the Heritage Collection. This was his, uh, one of his personal den purging items that I picked up. I have, uh, I tried a slim quite, quite some time ago that Ken Shade 326 lent me, but I didn't really, it was like kind of when I was newer at this and I really didn't give it, uh, I think a proper go. So I couldn't really compare these at this point. It's been too long. At some point I'd like to try or maybe pick up a slim just to compare. Let's see, sure I got everything. But really, really smooth, really easy. Obviously cruise control shave, um, so really nice. All right, I'm gonna rinse the face here. These are definitely a lot cooler up here than they were down there. We're getting down to the low 60s, high 50s at night here now. It's starting to cool off. All right, so we're gonna throw on the uh, Gypsy Recovery Splash. I really, really enjoyed the, uh, I don't think I put enough in there. Vegan base. I think Heather's going to come out with more in the vegan base. So I think a lot of people are very happy with that. Um, so look for that. If you didn't get this one or aren't interested in this scent and want to try the vegan base. All right, there we have it. Thanks for tuning in today, folks. And uh, again, I will see you soon on the channel.